Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. We are going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage of season 12 of. Yeah. All right. This week is the makeover challenge. Mm -hmm. Hate. Uh, you don't like I it. I hate this. It's so hard. It's so challenging. Well, this it's the challenge of all challenges for me. So this time they said, you know what? There have been 11 seasons of this. We know there are plenty of super fans out there that would like a makeover. So they brought in super fans. I'm sure when they walked in, they were like, oh my gosh, I'm in the workroom of RuPaul's Drag Race. They had no idea. Because they were told they were coming in to be audience members. We are here to toot and boot the looks this week, so let's get to work. Family resemblance, queen, and makeover. Category is drag family resemblance. Okay, All first right. up, Heidi in Closet mm. and Honey Almighty. And this is uh, Heidi in Closet's makeover. Mm -hmm. um, this is a boot. The only thing I like about this is Heidi's jumpsuit, and that's about it. What a beautiful woman Honey Almighty is. The makeup looks Beautiful. Yeah. The makeup job on Honey is amazing. Heidi blew this challenge, as far as the makeup goes, out of the water. Mm -hmm. these, these look like they're both Heidi's wigs mm -hmm. that she usually pins together to create one big look. <laughs> she said, oh, let me She took the top part off. Yeah, and put it on Honey. Took the zip ties out and then put it on Honey. Yeah, this well, is it's just... an afterthought. It's like, oh my God. Everybody for the last 11 seasons and some All-Stars has been able to somehow execute this challenge and do it to the best of their ability. And this is not to the best of Heidi's ability. And I know that backstage somewhere there was a roll of sequin gold fabric that could have easily been belted, accessorized. What was the challenge to make your, your makeover look like she works at a Kohl's? No. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No. Boot. Boot. Next. Sorry. Let's move on. Jackie Cox and Little Snacky Cox. Jackie Cox and Little Snacky Cox. That's cute. Snacky. Snaggy cool. Jackie Snacky. I love the little jumpsuit she's wearing, the little romper. Mm -hmm. I don't like the jumpsuit Jackie's wearing. Mm. I would like the jumpsuit Jackie was wearing if maybe the ankle was brought in a little more or if it was a little more tailored. The hair looks great. The makeup, mm, it's okay. But overall, it's a clean, nice look. Yeah, you didn't mess up here, Jackie. There's there's nothing there's nothing bad about this. But as we are getting closer and closer to the end, as the contestants start to dwindle episode after episode, I ain't loving all this. No. I think it's starting to bore me. Hashtag mood board. Uh, there's there's somewhat of a family resemblance with mm -hmm. Jackie and Little Snacky. Somewhat, and it's in the hair. The hair, they both have the same hair. On Jackie, it looks a little more draggy, and on Lil Snacky, it's just kind of like a Clinique makeover. It's just a little snacky and not a whole meal? No. Mm. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a toot. It's a toot. But it's I'm just saying, it's like we're getting there. We're getting to that point, and I'm looking for people who look like winners. Don't look over here. This ain't this. <laughs> you got the assignment correct, and you get a toot. Bitch. Next mm -hmm. week better be something else. Yeah. Next to the stage, we bring Jada and Jazz. Essence all. Jada and Jazz. Toot. toot. Yeah, it's a toot. Everything about this is a toot. The makeup, the hair. I love that they're both wearing the same color, but not the same thing. Yes. It's great. It's beautiful. It's 1,000% toot. It is mm -hmm. wonderful. I Jada knows how to do some makeup. Yeah, they, they, they both look stunning. Like, they both look like equals in this. Granted, Jazz Essence Hall, her, her model, her makeover girl, has such a stunning figure and probably fits into most of the things that Jada already has in her, in her wardrobe. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jada is now looking to me like a person who has vision and is, uh, has the ability and the capabilities to transfer that vision onto someone else. And that is the challenge in this episode. Yep. Toot. Toot. Crystal method and opal method. This is adorable. It is I so I just love it. Cute. I love this. It's definitely two puppets 
from maybe um, you know a road <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No mention, um, no mention, no, 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 because branding yeah. and such. But oh, I love this. I love this so much. And remember, I was just saying earlier how the things that we liked about people and disliked about them, I guess, are starting to kind of switch up. And the things that I disliked about Crystal Method are now starting to come like it's you're seeing it. I'm seeing it. it. I'm you're seeing her it. Crystal Method. I'm seeing what is happening here, and I like it. I think it's brilliant, I think it's funny, it's humorous, it's nostalgic, it's familiar, and it's just, it's punk rock as hell. I love it. Too. Yeah. There, I, there's, we could keep going on, but we don't want to. Everybody the, loves puppets. The show can only be a few minutes long. They're poking fun at the fact that this puppet couple is getting married. They're homosexuals. Mmm. Yes. That's very sweet. There are times with the makeover where they do it and it's, identical mm -hmm. it's very like she's wearing this she's wearing this this th this is you can you would see them at separate ends of the banquet hall at a family reunion and know that they came from the same side of the family mm -hmm. to crystal method gets a toot next we have Gigi good and bb bad Gigi good and bb bad Gigi good and bb bad this again Someone who said, I'm going to have two of these made because this is what I'm going to use for my makeover. Mm -hmm. Now, that as you get up to a certain season, you realize there's a formula here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a sewing challenge. There's going to be a singing challenge. There's going to be a makeover challenge. And usually they want a family resemblance. Another smart queen that showed up with two looks of something that she knew could fit a wide range of characters. If you yes, know. a trapeze shape like this, a mm -hmm. bell, a dress, like anybody could fit that. Like you could just, yeah. Genius, it is genius. Definite family resemblance. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely see that these two are sisters. Mm -hmm. I love the 60s silhouette. I love the pillbox hats. I love the faux fur, which is very, 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 very important on trend right now. Faux fur all the way. Mm -hmm. Yes, living for it. Two. Two. Trend alert! Super, super fans! fans. We love you. Yes! Super fans are always on Tron, darling. Always, always on Tron. They never go out of style. We would be nothing, nothing without our fans and super fans. So much love to our Toot and Boot fashion photo review fans, RuPaul's Drag Race, Kakara Cow, Meow Meow, Meow fans, super fans. And if you are a super fan, I'm sure you're tuning in every Friday night to VH1 to catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 12. Yes! And if VH1 is not available in your country, check out the link below to see if you can watch RuPaul's Drag Race wherever you're at on WOW Presents Plus. Our, Our top two of the week is Crystal Method! Yeah, And Opal Method. Without Opal, Crystal would not have got this top two of the week because it took two to tango this week and they did the damn thing, sis. Crystal Method! Some say we're like a weird married couple with two fists up our butt. We are. Maybe that's why we like this look so much. <laughs> I'll be your rubber ducky. I'll be your rubber fist. Uh -huh.